Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Savage, or I guess review. I'm going to be doing a kind of overview and I'm going to shoot the rifle, whatever you want to call that, I guess it's a review, of this Savage Model 110E. Alright, so this one should be a good one, so let's get right into it. Alright, so like I said before the intro roll, today we are going to be shooting and going over the Savage Model 110E. Alright, so this rifle came out late 70s, well it actually started coming out in the late 60s and into the 70s and they quit production of it. So it's not really a new rifle by any means, but it's an old classic hunting rifle and one that I find very interesting and think it's something that everybody should know about. So let's, let's talk about it. Alright, so before I really get into anything, I would like to ask you guys to hit that subscribe button. We're doing really good and I'd like to keep it up. Moving on from that small plug, I would like to thank Eric for letting me do this review. He lent me this rifle to shoot and to uh, talk about. Alright, so this Savage is chambered in 270. 270 is a very common hunting round, a very good round, widely accepted for whitetail deer and um, Stuff like that here in Southwest Virginia, 270 is a very popular round. And that's what this thing is chambered in. Um, the rifle costs around $400 today. I was doing some research on Gun Broker before doing this review. And I have found tons of different variants of the rifle. Some with different stocks that have been adapted and changed over time. But uh, for the most part, $350, $400. If you can find one for that, you're, you're doing pretty good. And uh, I think I think it's probably probably on par considering most hunting rifles nowadays are about that. I know uh, my Ruger Predator, which is a 6.5, I paid $400 for it new. It has no, I guess, classic value because it is a new rifle. So this rifle has aged and it has, I think, increased in value. All right. So let's talk about a little bit about the rifle. Um, the rifle will come with iron sights all right uh, the front iron sight was removed on this rifle for whatever reason but it still has the back and um, it has a scope on it. this is a no-name scope but it's just a hunting rifle all right this is not a precision rifle or, or used for that it's something you would take to claim animals with all right um, one thing that's good about this if you wanted to add like I guess peak sights on it to where you can look underneath your rifle scope you could do that fairly easily uh, without much messing around with the rifle because the sights aren't back here they're up here so if you wanted to add a riser to it and put your scope a little bit higher you could look underneath your scope and use the iron sights that's not what's done here all right it has a wood stock on it which I really like the wood look um, I know a lot of people like synthetic stocks and I, I am a fan of synthetic stocks but there's just something about a good, a good wood stock that looks very traditional and I think really can't be beat in terms of having a hunting rifle. Alright, so the safety's to the rear. Um, I mean, it's, it's pretty standard. There's not a lot to say about that. Your uh, bolt takedown is up here. Very standard. I mean, there's not really a lot to say about the rifle in terms of features. It's just a good hunting rifle, right? The barrel's not threaded or anything. You can't put a brake on it. So, uh, yeah. All right, so now that we've talked a little bit about the rifle, let's just get right into shooting it. And um, I'm going to be shooting some, some old Winchester rounds. These are 150 grain. And I'm no marksman. And I'm also not a... No expert in this either. Uh, I'm just a regular guy shooting a rifle. So... Let's see how it goes. And this stuff is pretty old. I'm not quite sure when this was made. This is some stuff I had laying around. I don't own a 270 personally. So let's get right into it. So I'm here at 50 yards with the Savage Model 110E uh, chambered in 270. We're going to be shooting some uh, Winchester 150 grain PowerPoint. This is some pretty old stuff, but it's a pretty old rifle. Um, and we're we're just going to be seeing how well it groups. Um, I'm not expecting crazy accuracy out of this rifle, but I'm not a sniper, so I don't know. 
we'll just see. Like I said before, this is a really good deer hunting rifle and it's taken plenty of deer and I'm just shooting it for fun right now. So, let's try her out. It's a little low at 50. She didn't kick that bad though. Well, she did kick that last one. But, trigger pull is kind of smooth on her. She'd be a good hunting rifle, for sure. I don't know if it's my favorite gun I've ever shot, but let's go look at the target. So, we're, we came down range, and I don't know how well you could see it on the GoPro. We had the GoPro running the whole time, and I probably had it up in the corner. But uh, right here was my first shot, right there was my second shot, and right there was my third shot. So I don't know if it was me. It was probably me. But um, it could have been the ammo. But I think the gun shot really well. Like I said before, I had a really nice trigger pull on it. But um, it's really a good hunting rifle. I wouldn't say it's a precision shooter. And I wouldn't say that it's like a marksman rifle by any means, but it's a really good hunting rifle. And I think if you could find one nowadays for like $300, $400, it's definitely worth a pickup and definitely worth a buy. Um, I don't think they make them anymore. I think they quit production back in the 80, or early, early 80s or late 70s. I'm not 110% sure. But um, the gun did shoot good. And I think if you have one, you're lucky to have one. And I think if you have the ability to buy one, you should buy one. But that's just me and my personal opinion about every gun. All right. And maybe with some new rounds, maybe some Hornady, which I, I didn't have any Hornady. I had very few two, two, or 270, and the gun was a loner. So I was just going with what I had. But uh, I think it's a real nice rifle, and I think if you have one, you're lucky. That about does it for the video, guys. If I could ask you to do one thing, I would ask you to please subscribe. We're doing really good on subscribers right now, and the more subscribers and the more viewers I can get, the more review videos I can get out to y'all, the more shooting videos, the more gear videos, more everything. So that about does it. I appreciate everybody for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. And as always, take someone outdoors.